hey what's up guys i'm your host joy and in this video we will be looking at the overall workflow process of how to use our formats uh, like in this footage right here suppose you need a cutout of the whole subject and in that case you need to give this to a road artist and once he's done you will be receiving a file like this which is called an alpha mat now let's see how we can use this first of all drag and drop your main footage on your timeline then head over to the color page and here you can go to the media pool and drag and drop the alpha mat onto your node space and then connect its alpha to your current serial node and then you can just change the color or brightness level of that particular area now if you want to cut out your subject with a transparent background then just reset all of your nodes then right click and select add alpha output then drag and drop the alpha mat to your node space then connect its alpha to the alpha output and now you have a cutout with a transparent background now let's see how you can do this in the fusion page just drag and drop your alpha mat from your media pool onto your node space and then connect it to the alpha of the media in well you can see nothing is happening here to use this as a alpha mat you just need to go to the settings then change the channel from alpha to luminance and there you go this is how you can use alpha mat in fusion page well doing this in the fusion page has its own advantages one of it is you can refine your cutout for example select the media in node then shift spacebar and type mat control now within the mat control you can adjust the edge blur we can also go to the spill tab and change the fringe gamma to remove the white edge on our character now we have a proper cutout of our subject so let's bring in a background and place it below our subject so just drag and drop an image from your media pool then take a merge node connect the image to the background layer and the subject to the foreground now we can see that the background image is of a lower resolution so what we need to do here is that we need to place a resize node after this so that was the whole workflow process of how to use an alpha mat hope you guys got to learn something new from this video and if you really did then do hit that like button and also subscribe to this channel if you want to watch more videos like this thank you and see you again